Reminder, guys, I'm giving away a Crusader C1. Stick around to the end to see how to enter. This IE, we get a surprise. The Cutter. It's a starter ship that's far more complete than many of the older models. It's really a smaller version of the Drake Cutlass in so many ways. It's got the largest interior space of all the starter ships to date. That's pretty amazing. It has four SU of dedicated cargo space in the rear. It looks like you can actually fit double that, but the dedicated space is, is four units. The basic amenities include a bathroom and a bed, so it's got full living accommodations. It's got very large fuel tanks. It comes with two gimbaled bulldogs in its stock configuration. Of course, these are upgradable to two size two fixed weapons of your choice as well. I think I'm probably gonna put badgers on it. Um, it can almost fit a rock based on the pictures I've seen. I'll find out a little bit more because it's supposed to be on the IE showroom floor and I'm gonna jump in game right after I'm done making this video. I think of this ship a little bit like a classic muscle car. It's got undersized directional thrusters, so turning's a bit slow and laggy, but it's got some very large engines, so it's fast in a straight line. You know, comparable to other starter ships. I don't think this is gonna be a racer by any means. They did actually mention it's very heavy as well, so that coupled with the directional thrusters, I mean, you're not gonna be turning on a dime with this thing. A dev actually called out the fact that it uses the VTOL engines from the Vulture. It's got a lot of other aesthetic touches from the other well-known Drake ships as well. Very cool. It definitely has that whole Drake look and feel. So if that's the kind of ship you're looking for as a starter, I really think that this is going to hit the nail on the head. So the Drake Cutter is going direct to flyable with IAE. So it's launched as of now and it is available in the store. The Warbond starter pack is 45 bucks. The standalone ship is also 45 bucks. The Warbond version is $40, and there is no current Warbond CCU for the Cutter. You can really tell by looking at this ship and checking out all the amenities that it offers that they really wanted to build a starter ship from the ground up that, that had everything you needed to get into all the different gameplay loops that are available, or that will be available, rather, in the released game. This ship is so much more complete compared to some of the other starter ships that we know of. The Mustang and the Aurora come to mind, right? I think the Titan is the closest to it as far as pricing and ship amenities, but this one, it actually outshines the Titan as far as internal functionalities. It, clearly, I think the Titan's gonna be better in combat, uh, just based on the weapon loadout, that's obvious. But as far as utility goes, I think this one actually takes the cake of all the starter ships, especially based on the, the price that they're offering it at. In closing, I'd like to say that this is a newly released ship that I haven't actually flown yet. So take everything I say about, you know, my opinion that I have about this ship and throw it out the window because it's only opinion. On paper, it looks like a hell of a good starter ship. Tons of amenities, good interior space, pretty functional, especially to those that love the Drake look and feel. Only time will tell if this is the right ship for you, but hey, it's direct to flyable, so you can try it out during IAE and make the decision for yourself. Thanks for watching till the end. Any subscriber that leaves a comment on this video will get an additional entry for the C1 giveaway. So be sure to subscribe and leave a comment for your chance to win. Tell me what you guys think about the cutter. Do you think it's going to be better or worse than some of the other starter ships available?